All right, we are out at Suora Lake. Um, so Chris and I come out here a lot and do certifications. We help uh, divers get their open water diver certification. And every time we're out here, there's just so much trash in the water. It's just always it's sad to see. Whenever we come, we try and get out as much as we can. We've done a lot of videos here. We've been looking, finding stuff, and we pull out as much trash as we can. But today, what are we doing, Jenny? We are going to pull out, how many bags do we have? 15? We've got a lot of bags. 10 to 15 bags. mesh bags that we are going to pull out as much trash as we can. We've got our kayaks. We're going to load our kayaks up. We've got some help on the top of the water. So um, we've got two missionaries that are, that are going to be here helping out doing some service with us. We're very appreciative of them. And uh, we're going to load up these kayaks. I'm going to walk over and we're going to put as much trash on here as we can. We'll also look for some fun treasures as we do it. But our main goal today is cleaning up. So we're going we're gonna to get as much out yeah. as we can. We're hoping to make a dent. Got our kayaks. Got our scuba gear. Woohoo! These boys are going to hike it up. And Dana and I are going to kayak over with all the scuba gear. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do the heavy lifting because we can't. Hard stuff. <laughs> all right, we are at the cliffs now. We've got some big mesh bags. We're putting trash in here. We've got the little mesh bag if we find any treats. Well, we're underwater. The missionaries are over here. And Dana, who's videoing, they're going to be looking for trash up on the shore as well. So we're going to clean up as much as we can here.
All right, guys, thanks for bringing the trash back. How Whoa. was it? Dark. It's a little harder than we thought, but we got a good workout. All right. Look at this trash. We got all of that out. Woo. Nice work. All right, amongst all that trash, we did find a few treasures. So, Jenny, why don't you say what you found first? All right. So, my first finds, let's see. I always find one of these, these vapes. This is peach ice. And I found a cute little bracelet. Steve found this and then he must have dropped it because then I found it. Slipped out of my hand. <laughs> and then I found this. Um, what is this? Like, like just a, a speaker. speaker. Yeah. Charger, not sure. But that was kind of cool to find under there. And then I found this that I'm going to get one of these boys to drink for a dollar. <laughs> okay, All right, Chris, next? what about you? Well, today, you know, we were looking for trash, but I did find this Apple Watch here. Um, and it does turn on, so we'll see what we can uh, find out of that. So stay, found, stay tuned to the end, because we'll definitely get it back to the owner if we can find them. And then I found a couple pair of sunglasses. This pair looked like they've been down there for a while, but we'll mm. clean them up and they'll be nice to use. Ooh, those look and uh, these for also look like they've been down there for a little bit, but anyway. Cool. Fun day. Oh, awesome. I also I also found these ones, but yeah. they they don't look like they're in very good shape. So, cool. So sorry. Well, I found another bottle of Gatorade, and yes, I'm gonna drink some here in a little oh. bit. It's unopened. Um, I did find these two pairs of sunglasses. I thought these were Ray-Bans at first. I found a pair that looked just like that, but they're not. Just made in China. I found an iPhone 11 Pro. Check that out. But it's been yeah. underwater. It's, uh, it's seen its day, it's already bulging, but it's kind of cool to find. And I found an Apple Watch. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if both of these Apple Watches will charge up and if they're not locked, or if they have their emergency contact, we'll definitely get them back to the owner. So all in all, it was a great dive. It was awesome being able to get all that trash out. That was, that was, a, that was a mountain of trash, pretty cool. And then some cool treasures along the way, so. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, thanks. You don't have to drink it all. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna drink it all. Just kidding. Okay, boys, this is for a dollar. <laughs> these, these Gatorades have been in the lake for who knows how long. Here we so, go. Chug, Unopened. Chug, chug. Still got the seal. That's the good all seal right. right there. It smells <laughs> like Gatorade still, so that's good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Whoa. Ah, that's great stuff. Mm. Still good, still good. <laughs> <laughs>
Not bad, not bad. <laughs> All right, look at all this trash we pulled out of the lake. Yeah. Awesome. You know, we actually put three other bags in the in the garbage dumpster already, so it was a little bit higher too. But so this is what happens when you don't pack your stuff out. Just make sure if you bring it in, that's great, but bring it out with you. Pack it in, pack it out. Don't leave this in the lakes and litter. When you think that your one can doesn't matter. This is what happens. So, so thankful for everyone's help today. We had Dana, she's behind the scenes on the on the video right now, but she was helping clean up on the shore along with Elder Baird and Paul. Appreciate your guys' help. We couldn't have done it without you guys on the shore. That was that was a that was, that was awesome. a task. Pulling up all this stuff, bring it up and handing it up to you guys. So we appreciate it. We're now gonna get all this trash where it belongs, in the garbage. Yeah. Alright, this is a Series 2 Apple Watch that we found yesterday in the lake. We're going to go ahead and put it on the charger and see if we can get some life in it. Hmm. Oh! There's something. <laughs> I, I blinked. <gasps> okay. It's I mean, trying. I've it's never trying. seen an Apple Watch do that. It's trying to get up there. So we're gonna leave it on the charger here for as long as we can. I think it's it's trying to reboot and get up there. We'll see, I've seen Apple Watches sometimes do that and then it just keeps rebooting. So um, we'll see. All right, it's not gonna charge up. There must have been too much water damage to this one. So wah, wah, wah. this one's not gonna work, but we will go check out the Apple Watch that Chris found and see if we can get that one back to the owner. All right. The Apple Watch that we found did not work. It wouldn't it wouldn't boot up, but Chris's did. Yes. Found it, worked right away, and uh, it was unlocked. So easily we were able to contact the owner. He's a student, I believe, here at Arizona State. So I'm wearing my ASU gear and my trip and dive gear. Poor guy. <laughs> so we're gonna meet him here in a few minutes, get it back to him. Austin? Yeah. Hey man, how are you doing? <laughs> so this is Chris, he's the one that called you. I'm the one, yeah, the one you've been texting. Yeah, thank you man. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm sure your parents are glad they don't have to replace it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was crazy when my dad texted me. He's like, someone found your watch. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how, that's crazy. <laughs> well, I'm glad we found it. One of the important things that I noticed about your watch is that you have an exam tomorrow. It's on your calendar. I do, Because yeah. while we're standing here, that popped up. So. <laughs> So just want to make yeah. sure you're on time. And now you're at ASU, right? Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, go Devils. Uh, yeah. Steve and I are I'm both graduates. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you guys again. Yeah, you're good. I know it's like to be a starving college. Yeah.